Yo, what's up guys, Sean here, aka um, a Flying Midgets, and today we're going to be trying some Russian food. So we got ourselves another Universal Yums box, guys. More information on what these are at the end of the video, so make sure you stay and listen to that. But today, we've got some good Russian food, and I cannot wait to get into it. I am not going to be able to read any of these, but we've got, um, Pyem, I don't even know if I should try these. Pyemic, something with a motorcycle, dude, looks like some, some chips. we got some three, cup. I don't even know what, what, how do you even read this language? I don't even, cup, Koponikin, I don't even know, it looked like... Little dudes playing guitar or something like that. Um, we got, like, it literally, okay, these are the exact same, maybe just different flavors. Got two flavors of this bad boy. Um, we've got, uh, con, I don't even know, kakach, it's, uh, I caved. So now I'm looking at the info sheet. This one is skazochini strawberry mini sponge cake. Okay, that's way easier to read. <laughs> then we've got kovorka baked milk wafers with chocolate glaze, which look amazing. We've also got uh, red October toffee crep, crep shit, crep shit, and these look really good as well. Although it looks like too many nuts. A loinka chocolate bar with ice cream filling, which sounds amazing. We've got a tula gingerbread with wakomaka, which looks extremely, extremely interesting. And then we've got this bag full of like little candies, um, anywhere ranging from a Rusco chocolate and sunflower seeds. Uh, we've got a Michaelo chocolate covered apricot and walnut, black currant candies, um, orange fruit jelly, uh, rot front chocolate vanilla candy. So loads of little, uh, little, little candy dilly dallies in here. So let's get into it. First off, we're gonna roll with this uh, Karochi um, Hotelitz and horseradish or something. Oh my lanta. This smells worse than dog food. No. Disgusting. I'm gonna have to rate this like a two. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that I do loads of these videos and I rate everything out of 10. So if you guys wanna see the playlist of me trying candy and food from all of the other countries out there, then make sure you check the description. Anyways, let's try to bounce back with this chocolate bar and ice cream filling because it sounds so freaking good and it looks like it's super soft chocolate. Oh, please don't let me down. Mmm. Oh my. Oh my, oh my. If that isn't heaven, I don't know what is. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to give that thing at least a 9.5. A 9.5 might have been also the highest rating I think I've ever given anything in one of these videos. Wow. All right, next up we're gonna have these Ruzik uh, Vanilla Corn Puffs. I'm not a big fan of corn puffs, but um, they look kind of good. They look kind of welcoming, a little puffy, a little cheese puff action, so. Not bad. You know, I'm not a huge fan of things like this, but this is actually pretty dang good. I can definitely see myself snacking on these. Um, I'd have to give them at least a six, but pushing a seven. Next up, we're gonna open our candy bag and go for the uh, black currant candies. And I'm almost positive I'm not gonna like this because I think I've tasted this stuff before and I think I absolutely hate it. But here we go. Do I chew it? Yeah, I chew it. You know, it's not that bad, but it's really not that good. It's like it's candy, so it's good. Um, but the taste of it isn't phenomenal, but I can see myself eating one of these like, I don't know, once every like 23 days or something like that. So I'm going to have to give this probably like a six. Next up, we're going to go for the rot front uh, vanilla chocolate candy thing. It looks like a really good looking Tootsie Roll. Here we go. Not like a Tootsie Roll at all. I was not ready for the texture of this. It's very soft and kind of melts in your mouth and it looks like it should be something chewy. But the taste on the other hand is actually pretty solid. Ooh, I'd give it a six. Let's roll with something I'm probably gonna hate, the strawberry um, sponge cake thing, and I'm just not a fan of sponge cake, so I'm probably gonna hate these, but everyone's like, dude, sponge cake is so good. Seven, it's actually pretty good. It's like sugary enough to where like I really, really like it. My American taste buds actually really like it, so I would say probably seven on this bad boy. That one was actually quite a shocker. Let's roll on to this orange fruit jelly, this like little pumpkin looking thing. Um, I'm not entirely sure how we're supposed to open it. It's got like a little ribbon. 
Okay, I'm probably gonna hate this. What? What? What is? What? What are those? What are those? It's like a cutie clementine, but full of sugar, and like you pull off a little orange slice. What the heck? This is the weirdest thing ever. Uh, here we go. Oh. We have these things in America. I forget what they're called, but they don't come packaged like this. Very interesting choice of packaging. I kind of like I get to pull out a little like kind of square of each. So. I kind of like it though. I mean, I'm not a huge fan of these candies. Like, I don't buy them. I forget what they're even called. I don't buy them, but I'd probably see myself like buying one of these little guys just because the experience is awesome. Six or seven for shizzle my nizzle. All right, let's go for this really weird thing the Tula gingerbread with Laco Maca thingy. It's like a little, sounds like it's an Hawaiian thing, but um, it looks incredibly interesting. Um, I, it looks like I might like it, but. I honestly don't know. I've never seen anything like this um, in my entire life to, that, that that's edible. So, um, it smells kind of weird, but uh, here goes nothing. The taste is pretty good, but this is about as drier as the Sonoran Desert. Like, if I was British, I would love this, because then I would just drink my tea with it, and I just love But I hate tea. Taste is like a 7 or an 8, but, like, the eating and the texture and the whole, like, experience of it is probably like a 4. So, I think that averages out to be about a, yeah, we'll give it a 7. Next up, we're going to hit the uh, Red October Toffee Kreps thingy, um, and it doesn't sound like I'm going to like it. No, I'm good, fam. If you like peanut butter, you would absolutely love this, but I'm not a huge fan of peanut butter. So I have to give it like a four, but I'm saying if you're a peanut butter lover, this would probably be a nine for you. All righty, we got a few more here. I'm going to hit up the um, Michaelo chocolate-covered apricot and walnut. Again, I'm not a huge nut dude, but I am a big chocolate guy, so dark chocolate. Okay, I might actually like this. Or it goes nothing. So many tastes. My emotions can't handle it. All right, yeah, I've come to consensus that I don't like it at all. I freaking hate apricot, and that's a heavy taste, but I love the chocolate, and chocolate tastes so good. And the walnut's very hard to taste, but it's actually pretty solid. But the apricot is just disgusting, and I don't think I can handle that. I mean, I still taste it. I'm gonna have to give that thing like a three. Ugh, no gracias. All right, let's do the last of the candies here, which is the Rusco chocolate with sunflower seeds um, and cranberry. Again, I'm not a huge fan of cranberry, but I love sunflower seeds, and I love chocolate. Please be better than the last. Again, so many mixed tastes and emotions. Sunflower seeds are really good. I love sunflower seeds. They don't belong in chocolate at all. I was wondering why in America we don't have anything that's like chocolate sunflower seeds. Now I know why. Pretty gross. They mix some of my favorite tastes together with cranberry and it's just, uh, I just, no, no, no thank you. Better than the last one, but still not good. 4.5. This one's probably pretty gross as well. This is a Kuroki Salmon and Cheese now, I think is what it is. Salmon and Cheese? Yeah. I mean, hopefully better than the last one I had, but Salmon and Cheese don't sound like they should go together either. Do I even, do I even want to smell these? We're doing it. That is about the weirdest smelling thing I think I've ever smelled. It's like, almost like it's really good, but at the same time it's like really, really bad. Russia, why are you doing me like this, man? No. Russia, let me give you a little hint here. Just because it doesn't exist out there in the world in terms of like putting foods together doesn't mean you should do it. Salmon does not belong in chips or whatever the heck those things are. Don't do it. I'd give it like a five. Moving on, we're going to go to the Korov Korovka um, chocolate and uh, chocolate covered wafers or something. And I love wafers. This is why I saved this one to the end. Please don't let me down with this one, Russia. So they're almost like in Kit Kat form. You got like kind of two of them in here. So we're just going to kind of break a tiny little piece off and go into the kill. Mm. Now that is something. Easy eight, pushing a nine. Your typical chocolate and uh, and wafer kind of mix. Still surprised that this wasn't as good as that other thing. I had a little milk with like ice cream inside. Oh my gosh. That is gonna do it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video of me trying kind of Russian food. It was really great. Um, if you guys don't know what Universal Yums is, it's an awesome company, kind of like a loot crate or something where you get a box every month with food from around the world. It's honestly amazing, guys. I highly, highly, highly recommend you getting yourself a box. 
I love getting these every single month, getting to try cool things from different countries. So if you want more information on this, definitely check the description of this video and get yourself a box. I've mentioned it before guys, I've done a lot of videos like this where I get to try food from around the world. If you want to see those videos and check the description for that playlist, I've tried food from like Great Britain, I've tried food from like Taiwan and Norway and all those great places guys. So make sure you check the description for that playlist. That is it though guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you smack a like on the video. And uh, if you guys know this food, let me know in the comments below what your favorite food is out of this. And until next time, guys, if you haven't already, make sure you be fly and subscribe.